Hi everyone. Today we're here to visit Oxford, which is the tenth largest city of England, and uh, well-known University of Oxford is also located here. So it's quite nice to see that in person. We've always heard of it, but uh, obviously today we are here to visit. So we'll take you to the tour. So are you ready? Let's go. So let's go. The city is beautiful and quieter than London, which is really, really nice. Also much cleaner, for sure. At the town centre, we bumped into a crowd of protesters, which we were not expecting at all. Lots of flags and banners and chanting of slogans as you can hear. The crowd of protesters gathered in the city square which is pretty big. And there is a really tall clock tower on the opposite side. As you can hear, someone is giving a speech now. Then we started walking through the beautiful streets and alleyways surrounded by the magnificent architecture. These buildings must be really ancient and seems to have been preserved pretty well. I must say they are very very impressive.
then we came out of the other side of the city square where there is a main street where you can find buses. The University of Oxford is said to be roughly 922 years old, making it the second oldest university of the Western world. Then we decided to go to the market area to see what's going on there. Here they are selling many goods like fast food, local craft, gifts, souvenirs, flowers, jewelries and many more items as you can see. Well, that was a rapid tour of Oxford Covered Market run by Oxford City Council. There is a man there busking in the middle of the city, which is always an interesting feature of cities in England. just love this vibe of live music in streets, it definitely is a special feeling. And of course, last but not the least, we got to take some snaps for creating everlasting memories. Thank you all for watching.